What's up everybody, I'm Scanary and welcome to another Spellbreak video. In today's video I'm gonna show you all the different interactions between the spells and sorceries of all the different gauntlets in the game. Before we jump into this, if you haven't already seen the video explaining all the spells and sorceries, so basically the primary and secondary attacks of every gauntlet in the game, you might wanna step back and watch that first, there's a link in the description to that video. I'm gonna try to keep this as a short explanatory video as best as I can. Alright, Poison is the first one, it interacts with pretty much anything else, you can use that as a catalyst for the lightning, so that's gonna shock the target. Right, we talked about that. You can use Wind to clean up the toxic puddles, so you don't take damage anymore or they're not there anymore, or for whatever reason. The same goes for the sorcery of the Toxic Cloud, right? You can clean that up with wind if you want, for whatever reason. Um, you can also clean up the puddles with stone. So if there's a Toxic Puddle and you throw a Shockwave, it cleans it up. Unfortunately, that doesn't work for the Cloud. So that's something worth mentioning, I think. A very strong interaction is between toxic and and flame. It does uh, it creates a toxic flame that deals 20 damage a second instead of 20 uh, instead of 12. Normal fire does 12. The toxic fire does 20. And the final interesting the final interaction is between toxic and frost. You can use frost to freeze the toxic puddles, you don't take damage on them anymore, but you can still use them as a catalyst for lightning and you can still uh, set them on fire if you if you do that before they go off. Alright, next up is lightning. Lightning, the primary attack, needs a catalyst to be able to interact, right? You can't, it doesn't stay there, it's not like you can send the lightning and then do something using that, but you can do stuff using the um, Sorcery. So if you have a thunderstorm going on, you can you can throw a toxic puddle and it's gonna explode, for example, which I think is interesting. Yeah, there's not much about lightning. It does. There's nothing that interacts with lightning, but lightning interacts with other stuff. So if you have any sort of gas or liquid, basically. Uh, the lightning is gonna interact with that, but that's about it, I think. Alright, next up we have Wind. Um, the basic attack of the Wind doesn't do much, it can be used to clean up stuff. So you can use that to clean up Toxic Puddles. You can also use it to clean up Frost from the ground. Um, I've mentioned this in the last video, you can use Wind to fly, which is like to send you up in the air, which I think is something uh, pretty cool. It's not really an interaction, but it's still worth mentioning, I think. And this can also be used to extinguish fires. I hope that I'm not missing anything. And you can also clean up um, leftover water with the wind. Right, because that, that takes forever to go away on its own. You can clean it up with the wind pretty fast. For whatever reason, you need to do that. Uh, some interesting interactions are with the tornado. Right, the sorcery of the wind. Right, that's the sorcery of the wind gauntlet. So that interacts with toxic, that interacts with flame as well. You can make a toxic or a flame tornado. It also has a cool interaction with the lightning. Right, to create the shock effect in the middle of the of the storm. And there's also this interaction where you can use flame and toxic to create an explosion using the tornado and then doing the flame toxic interaction in the tornado, which is really cool. Um, those are interactions that you can use to make the tornado stronger, but there's also there's, an, there's also a different way that this interacts with the environment. If you have a tornado set up and you, you throw an ice particle, you can see it's changing direction slightly because of the tornado, it's being rotated. I don't know if you can notice that, it's like very slight. So yeah, it's more obvious with the fireball, right? It doesn't go straight, it goes, it makes a... It makes a big turn instead of going straight. 
Cool, next up we have the stone. The stone basic doesn't interact with much, it interacts with the firewall though, so if you send a shockwave through a firewall, that's gonna... that's gonna catch on fire. Oh wait, what? Huh, <laughs> there's another one here, I haven't... I haven't noticed this one, okay, so hold up. So as you can see here, this also does the 12 damage that a normal firewall would do. It's exactly the same damage. And yeah, it doesn't stack up. Just like the poison, this doesn't stack up. I think this might have been obvious. You can clean up frost from the ground using this. You can also clean up poison. I think I mentioned that earlier. And an interesting thing about this is that you can set the meteorite on fire. So instead of just exploding, it also creates a fire on the ground. I think it's a cool interaction. And it also, as you might suspect, it also interacts with the frost gauntlet, which is kind of hard to hit, actually. I think it freezes everything like a mini, like a mini frost tornado. So I think it, it freezes the enemy, but it's rather hard to hit it. <laughs> Next up we have the Flame Gauntlet. The interactions of the Flame Gauntlet, we've basically talked about them before with the previous ones. I did not mention Frost and Flame though. Frost and Flame can be used to create clouds, which deal a good amount of damage and you can also set them on Lightning, you can also set them on Poison. And that you can also clear them with cloud with wind. And then we <laughs> and then we pretty much talked about any of the interactions that Frost has. Alright, I believe that should be all of the interactions covered. At least the main interactions, but honestly that should be all of them. I I just hope I haven't accidentally forgotten something. Alright, thank you guys again for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe if you did, and I will see you next time. Have a great day, bye. Alright, thank you guys again for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe if you did, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day, bye.